And here it is, what everyone's been waiting for, most likely. CSAT's T100 Varsuk tank. Looks nice, I like it. Uh, you know, this long bag here, kind of disappointing. It looks like a T72. Well, it's supposed to look like a T72 or T90. So, yeah. No crew compartments and no infantry to go along with him. Looks nice. Big, tall thing here. Now, I noticed this earlier when I was trying to record, but if you are uh, the observant type, you'll notice something and you have until, until, until I get into the tank to, you know, realize what it is that's missing and it should be there in a regular tank. So yeah, T100, it's pretty big, looks pretty nice. Yeah, let's go. So, driver compartment, eh, standard shit. You can turn out, which is nice. I believe in the T90 you can't actually turn out if the gun is over your hatch. Oh, nope. Could be wrong, it might be the T72 or some other T's. <sighs> commander seat. We have a 50 cal machine gun for the commander. And yeah, it's this baby here. <laughs> 50 cal. Well, since it is supposed to be Russian, it's a 12.7 millimeter. And look at that. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Look how high you can actually use that. You can shoot planes with this one. And you probably, this is why it actually exists. Although, it's, is it glitching? It might be glitching through the uh, hole. Yeah. Ah, oh, come on. Really? It's glitching through the hole. For shame. That said, okay, it's a 50 cal on the commander, which usually, you know, it's good and bad. It means the commander doesn't get bored in, uh, you know, random games. It also means the commander is distracted by shooting people and doesn't pay enough attention to, you know, Helicopter, commanding one click, north. the tank. Helicopter, one and a half click, Unfortunately, north you're gonna have to increase, aim the, to adjust the range manually. There is no north. auto adjustment for the range. And the 50 cal. It is a 50 cal, however. Very good weapon. Very good. We also have standard CSA thermal orange vision. <laughs> and then we'll go back to the commander. So, we have a 120mm cannon, 32 armor piercing uh, shells, FES, DST, whatever the fuck are. 16 high explosive T shells and a crappy gun camera. I don't like this, you know. You can see the squares on them. That's not actually my PC, that's how crappy the game is. And of course, orange vision. Zoom wise, we have a two steps one, which is pretty good. Now, have you figured out what's missing from this tank? No? I will give you a hint. I'm pressing F. Have you figured it out yet? If you said the gun doesn't have a coaxial machine gun, you are correct. <laughs> yes, for some reason there is no machine gun, uh, no coaxial machine gun for the gunner. None. So all of your anti-infantry uh, defense is gonna rely on that 50 can machine gun that's gonna keep the commander busy. Since the gunner can only use one of those 16 high explosive shells or nothing at all. There is no machine gun, which is dumb. That's dumb, come on, you couldn't fit a fucking machine gun here, a 7.7, .7, an 8.6, whatever the fuck these guys use. 5x5, five five, a saw, anything, a mini me? No, nothing, no. Uh. Ah, well. So, let's see how well we do. Basically, the weapon is the same as the uh, Slammer the NATO one. What it does have, however, is out of uh, range adjustment. Boom! That's a high explosive shell. So we'll shoot one more. <laughs> Not so much for those infantry. I noticed something when I was recording this earlier, but I fucked up the recording. And you'll see it here. It's a slammer tank, right? One shell. Well, shit, recording issues. But yeah, I managed to one shot that slammer tank. Weird, I don't know why. I shot another shell into 
I think this is the first shell I'm shooting is to that T100 and it's not blowing up. So I do actually believe that the slammer tank is in fact inferior in both firepower and armor. How many do I need to shoot? There we go. Let's see if we can re recreate that. Why did I hit that slammer tank? The turret? But yeah, as I keep saying, that white thing, I'm pretty sure that white thing is reactive armor. Basically, the armor explodes in order to keep the pressure out, something like that. No, it's not gonna blow after one. Okay, fine. Fire again! Then... Whew. Okay, now you're gonna make a lot out of me. No, no, no? <laughs> oh, I guess not. Come on, come on. You may actually see that. Yes. So it is white hot. Still not blowing up. It's refusing to blow up. There we go, Jesus. Took forever. Hey, do we have yes we do actually have another tank. Right here. Slammer. Is he gonna blow in one hit? Probably not. <laughs> Sounds nice near the gun, doesn't it? Oh, there we go, two shots. Then again, you have to love a tank. Tanks are awesome! Can you actually take care of that one? With the high explosive round? Maybe, I don't know. Let's have some fun! Doop -doo -doo. Can we actually see one of the pilots? 900. 900, okay. And the same thing again. Firing high exp armor piercing shells at choppers does nothing! Unless you hit the pilot. <laughs> Maybe we can hit the rotor. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's a bit silly, isn't it? Oh, you don't try to run! <laughs> I think I got... No, I didn't get the rotor. Let's get it in. Goodbye! I'm on to you. Loading high explosive. Don't try to run! <laughs> You're not gonna make it far. It's still... Are you kidding me? I shot a high explosive shield and it's fine, it's just crash landing. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, well, let's see how fast it goes, shall we? It should go fast, it's the chassis for the artillery one, right? The sword short. Or, you know, it shouldn't go fast because that one only went 55. Yeah, 54. <laughs> it's uh, 55. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so top speed definitely an issue for the CSAT armor. That's it, 5, 55 is top speed for this. It's rather disappointing, isn't it? It means that NATO's gonna run laps around you with their uh, Car, one slam of tanks. Please. How fast would that go? Um, look a bit. Slam of tank actually does only 60 kph. So it's not that big of a difference, but it might be vital. Remember though, the Slammer tank does have coaxial machine gun, although it's a uh, 8.6, not a 50 cal, 12.7. But, as you noticed on the Sochor, uh, uphill uh, capability, climbing capabilities on the hull of this thing should be really good. We'll see if it holds for this one. So I'm guessing it has... it's a light light tank weight ratio well, well I'm meaning it's light by weight you know it weighs a, a lot less than the slammer but its engine isn't all that weight or maybe it actually has factor limitation look at that we're climbing up here with all 25 22 20 yeah everyone else has been doing 9 or 11 this one's going 28 up here <laughs> so yeah the slammer might eventually you know, winning in a straight line, but 
in case you haven't noticed, this Greece land wannabe country has a lot of hills. So I don't know. It's gonna be a, a toss-up. Whoever, obviously, whoever fire first wins. But you know, in terms of mobility and better usage, uh, it's still gonna be toss-up. This one can go up hills faster, so they can take a good defensive position position faster. The slammer, on the other hand, can carry infantry and you know goes on the road faster. I don't know. What do you think? Oh, there's no manual fire for this. I was gonna just do a jump with it, but guess not. <laughs> so, this was it. The T100 Varsuk. Heavy tank. Well, tank. For the CSAT. Whoop, whoop. It has a 120mm cannon. And a 50 cal coaxial machine gun, which the commander controls. Again, I'm not too keen on that. I would have liked it if the commander, if the gunner had a coaxial machine gun, but it's a toss up. You get. You use what you get. Although, let's be honest, how many people are actually gonna be playing CSAT? Most Europeans are gonna be playing as NATO. So are most of. Uh, um, you know, on uh, public servers. Team servers, yeah, probably. I mean, look at it. It's nice. Looks nice, but yeah. Then again, it's slow. I have to say, it's kind of slow. But so is the slammers. Eh? And I actually like both of them. I think they look nice. Even both, as well as slammer as the T100. Even though this one is more of a fantasy tank. So. This, uh, this is it. T100.